Good evening, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church, and I'm in my home uh, trying to uh, relax from my busy day here for Ash Wednesday at the church. It is February 17th, and we are celebrating Ash Wednesday today and the beginning of the season of Lent. Let us put ourselves in God's holy presence, slow down our day, and renew ourselves uh, and prepare ourselves for sleep. We are on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My Episcodog has joined us. Hey, you know what? Our psalm this evening is Psalm 103, a portion of it, Psalm 103, found on page 733, page 733. We're reading verses 8 through 14 this evening. Psalm 103, verses 8 through 14. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and great in, kind, in great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor he will, will he keep his anger forever. He was, has not dealt with, his, with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As, for, as, as far as the east is from the west, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our, our scriptures continue with a passage from Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. He also told this parable. To some who trusted in themselves that they are, were righteous and regarded others with contempt, Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector standing far off would not even look up at heaven, but was beating in his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, as we uh, celebrate and begin the season of Lent, sometimes, as Luke's Gospel and Psalm 103 remind us, that in, even in, in our imperfections, God can still forgive us all things. But it is when we keep ourselves being more haughty or thinking of ourselves as 
being larger than life than anyone else. That is usually uh, the mark of what, as the, you know, this, this parable reminds us, they'll get their just due. Unfortunately, many of us find ourselves thinking that we don't know God very well and we get scared of being with God. We even don't even want to go to church anymore because we think lightning will strike us. I can say honestly, God will love even those who don't think of themselves very well. Humility is, an, is a grown skill. It is something you practice. It is reminding myself that I don't know everything. And as perfectionists go, that's me. We need to practice our humility from time to time. It's really the hallmark of a person with, who can practice empathy and feeling for others, practicing kindness with kindness. Amen. Let us continue our prayers found on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, my sisters and brothers, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Let's use the traditional Lord's Prayer on the left column. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. This is our colic prayer for this day. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make us in a new and contrite hearts that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now can offer our prayers. If you turn to page 389 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 389. Prayers of the People, Form 5. In peace, let us pray, pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that we that it may be full, may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Terry, our bishop, for your bishop, wherever you may live, or your superior, we pray, O God, for them and your head pastor and all ministers and rectors, for all of our, for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who do not yet believe and those who have lost their faith, that they may, have, may receive the light of the gospel, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, for the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For, the, for those in positions of public trust, 
that they may be, may serve G, may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this congregation of Grace Episcopal Church, your congregation, if you don't have a faith congregation, those friends of yours, and for those who are present and for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who, who have commended themselves to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health, like to especially pray for little Felix Holland tonight and today as he celebrates his birthday today and for all those who are special and dear to us and also for Ben Coltharp who celebrated his birthday earlier this week for Shirley and Jesus Menendez as they celebrated their wedding anniversary a few days ago and for all those who are dear friends and uh, family and, and uh, who are near and far with us Lord, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of your church, for those who, whose faith is known to you alone, that they and all the saints, that they may have rest in the place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray, Lord, for all those who passed away today because of COVID-19, and for those who are our loved ones, who we also remember who have passed away and those who we take a moment of silence and remember who are dear to us this day. Lord, in your mercy, Lord, Lord, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. Rejoicing in the power of the fellowship of the saints and all we commend ourselves to one another and to the life of Christ our God. We especially pray, Lord, tonight for all those who are ill, especially because of the pandemic, for all those who are awaiting test results. We pray for all those who have cancer. We pray, Lord, for those in name today, for Jim Zelmer, Sherry Ulick, for Reverend Libby Wade, for Kelly Curtis Walker, for Tommy and Patty, for Sam Wittes, we pray, Lord, for those who are living in residence at assisted living in nursing homes, especially those at Rivercrest, the Lakes, and uh, Gaither Suites. We remember all those, especially Charles Turok, Nancy Fowler Black, for Liz Story, for my sister Mary Jo. We pray for all those who are dear to us this night. To you, O Lord, our God. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us turn back to page 134 now and continue our Compline night prayers. At the bottom, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free, to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope you've had a wonderful day, and I hope you've been safe wherever you might be, staying at home, and and also uh, and digging yourself out with snow and all uh, throughout uh, this area. Uh, please join me again tomorrow night for Compline, continued Compline night prayers as well, once again. On behalf of Noah, my Episcodog, and myself, right Noah? We give thanks to you and that you may have a wonderful and restful sleep and with sweet dreams. Remember that God loves you, and so do I, and so does Noah. Good night.